Where are you, Marshall? We're getting close. Oh boy, you know this is going to be a problem. Okay. Hiss clusters heal other enemies. It's right in the thick of. Yeah, we've noticed. Yeah, it's very weird that it's telling us that now. Alright, well, it'll make things a bit easier for us. Whoa. Unbelievable. I wonder if I need to... Oh, yeah. Wow. So those things are all going to come... Is that guy across? No, he's still up. They're going to be really problematic, that group. Oh, boy. This is bananas! Whoa! Oh boy. I need to heal. Useless shooting into those shields. Grab as much stuff down here as I can. Probably not the best time to be reading this, however. Recording chair procedures. Before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. Ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in the chair. Ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This is the whole, this is the, um, these flying hiss. Uh, this will pre the prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the record process, which can lower the capture or the quality of captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during recording that some consider upsetting. Check if the volunteer is comfortable. Activate the recording apparatus. After recording is complete, check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. Do not be alarmed if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness. 
Astral dilation is a known issue. When you have an official memo and it, the last thing is like, don't be alarmed if this happens. That's something I do not want to be involved in. Oh, nice. Oh, that's not an opening, of course. Oh, look at that. There's a way up there. His clusters are unique in that they concentrated manifestations of his resonance without the need of a host. His clusters are dense, spherical compression of his resonance that serves support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. Clusters are capable of replenishing his host with infusions of resonance. It does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. The fact that Hiss makes an effort to preserve its corrupted host underlines a level of awareness and discretion. There's previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the Hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. Yes. Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't that just be quite interesting? it up. Okay, we'll do that in a second. Group think. This study extends the work of Irving Yanis, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong causal links between group think and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Ash's original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as a subject. Extensive quant qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in redacted. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of redacted and redacted. This is uh, Pope. Ordered this. Got astral blips. Anything in here we want to switch out? We do have this shield strength, which is, you know, I think pretty good. Um... Hmm. I just, we don't use it a lot because I, I like to be able to kill things while we're, while we're fighting because that's how we stay alive long term. It's kind of like an emergency thing where... Investigate the X-ray light box object of power. Okay. And we also got something else. The astral spike's fine. We saw that. Ah, uh, here. Astronauts information. This report serves as an introductory guide to the astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box in the, hy or in the hypnosis lab, a section of the parapsychology division. Physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes, known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo redacted session in the cognitive recording chairs, okay, to record their experiences in the plane. Gathered data has conclusively proven that redacted within the astral plane 
very widely between astral knots. On occasions, these dives can result in losses, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. So they put these guys into the plane as astral knots, and then they put them into those recording chairs to record their experience, which we just read about as well. It's freaking terrible. That's what it is. Hypnosis Lab is down this way, I think, right? Yeah. Let's do this before we... Talk to Marshall. What the F? Okay. Another object of power? They're just standing there. Find a way into the room to bind the X-ray light box. That might be better. Plus 21, plus 27. Controlling them. What are these things for, man? Control unit? What? We're like filling out these spaces. There's gotta be something that, there's gotta be, these look like those, um, those glyphs that we saw in Casper's office, but there's gotta be something, is it this maybe? Let's see if there's something out here that looks similar. That's the only one in the area, right? Like that? Oh, no, it's not. There it is. Cool. Yeah, the edges had to be filled. Is that unlocking this side door? Precisely. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, Astral Mark, First Class. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh I, uh, boy. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X ray light box, is purely voluntary. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good? Yeah. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. Uh... What was that? Corporeal untangling? You seize. <laughs> yes. Golden copy NC NPC variation. Oh. Oh. Oh my God, yes.
I just need to seize the bunch because they can damage it. Oh, that's awesome. So this one I can't. Weird. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I can't believe the amount of stuff we're going to be pulling off here. It's unbelievable. Some AP, the light box, astral blips. Those guys are all... Wait, are they dead? I wonder if those guys were represented in that astral plane and those were the ones that we were technically killing. Let me get rid of that. X-ray light box. The object is a light box used to examine X-ray images. The image cannot be removed from the light box. The information on the image belongs to a patient named... <laughs> probably us? I don't know. The object allows peri-utilitarians to forcefully seize an individual's subconscious. The seized individual becomes bound to the user. The effect lasts uh, maybe forever. Once released, the seized redacted as a result of the... Huh. The seized perishes or dies as a result of the psychic trauma. The object has no current binder. A janitor named Ati bound... I'm guessing. Maybe not. May okay. Okay. Let's just stick with Redacted. Found the object at St. Anne's Hospital in Redacted. Soon, the building's occupants were redacted by him. The Bureau dispatched an emergency response team to Redacted. The perpetrator and Redacted the item. Fatalities numbered in the Redacted. Hmm. I wonder where that is. That hospital. Their brains were fried when I took over the object. That's aft right up. Bureau alert executive major targets. Oh, I forgot to check. I wanted to check if it would uh, count down or not. But also, I remember that there's something over here. There's a chest up at the top. That's weird. I can, like, kind of double jump? Precognitive powers. Nadine, send this to research for analysis. RE, my precognitive powers. Urgent, Dr. Darling. Last night I had a dream. In the dream, I was given the solution to a staffing problem I'd been presented with just yesterday. The problem is of a confidential nature and must therefore remain unclarified here, but I can assure you that the method through which I received this helpful information was undeniably paranatural. I can only draw the conclusion that I possess exceptional precognitive abilities and as such, offer my services to the Bureau's research teams. Must utilize my powers for the greater good. So to get... <laughs> Gets this, uh, staffing solution problem, then has a dream. Because last night and then just yesterday. It's not... <laughs> it's not precognitive, but okay, cool, good chat. An ammo refund mod? Pretty solid. 16%. If you're firing a lot of shots, that could be... It could make a difference. I know there's more up there. Extra sensory lab. Wait, I'm in a different spot than I intended on being. 
Tokui, a Japanese citizen residing in Tokyo, has produced a series of guided imagery experience audio recordings that have gained notable popularity around the globe. Due to his unusually swift rise in fame, along with reports of vivid redacted accompanying the use of these tapes, like hallucinations probably, investigation sector staff were asked to look into Dr. Tokui's background. We found no past incident with an altered occurrence, nor any evidence of involvement with an altered organization. However, agents that attended a signing event reported redacted while hearing Dr. Takui speak. We recommended that the research team obtain an audio recording of Dr. Takui's voice and perform any and all relevant analysis. Based on the findings, the investigation sector will determine the next steps regarding Dr. Tokui as well as his eligibility for the Prime Candidate Program. It's like potential um, director stuff. I suppose. Sensory tank. Some of you were curious why I had these sensory deprivation tanks installed. I've always wanted to do that. I think that'd be super cool. I thought I'd shed some light on the subject. Maybe some of you have heard of Dr. Takui, the man behind the hugely popular guided imagery experience tapes. Apparently his tapes go beyond the normal meditative qualities of such things, but create genuine hallucinatory visions in some listeners, or so the reports say. We brought these tanks in to test Dr. Takui's tapes for ourselves, or tanks in. Uh, plus, there may be some stress-relieving uses for the staff down the road. I think we could all benefit from some time in the dark and closed space, don't you? If you have any more questions, feel free to stop by my office. You know where it is. I would love to try a sensory deprivation tank. Or a float tank. Okay, so we have not been in here, I don't think. Oh, hello. That looks super rare. Energy recovery or health versus straight up energy. Hmm. Let's do this. We have extra energy and we have recovery speed. Let's see how that feels. This is a prime. Okay, so that's like rare and then prime. Projectiles fired. Plus five. Um, let's go back here. Let's switch back to the shatter. Let's try that. Okay, but I think we need to get out of here. Take that. I think we had another, um... Oh, maybe this is the closest control point. Okay, let's do some abilities here. Plus 5% to seize duration. I'm gonna- I'm gonna use this thing all the time. That's so cool. So sweet. Let's go plus 10% as well. And then launch large enemies when health is low. We can construct the pierce now. And we can do an upgrade soon also, but... Let's see. So the pierce... With the char oh, this does the charge shot that penetrates armor and enemies at any range. Okay. We can give it accuracy or damage while aiming. Let's take that. And, hmm, what should we equip, though? These two feel like it might be weird. I'm going to have the grip just in case. But let's go to uh, pneumatics to try and handle this, this problem. Um, 
Dead Letters is right next to Pneumatics. Also, I guess we should we can look for these on our maps uh, as ways to find them. I actually didn't realize what those icons were until right now. Cool. You've got to be joking. Let's try this bad boy. Oh, that's weird. So it does that little flick. And then you let go to shoot it. That is really powerful, it seems. See, I'm wondering if I have a better... way of getting through here. Yeah, because I have to go through here to communications. This might be hard because we have to, uh, like, stand there for so long. It might be tough to actually isolate some of these. I wonder if I can only have one. his targets. Easier said than done. Ooh, I do not like being here. I need to get to the ball. so tough because if I can't get to that ball I almost have no way of killing him ah that's the second one in a row I think we bombed on damn it damn it it's okay it's okay we're starting to feel I, I do like that the battles are becoming a lot more uh difficult let's do this Spin rate of fire. Let's just take and abandon this one. Take and abandon. Research sector. Guess we go back here. Oh, that's too bad. The next one I'm going to be try to be super careful on. So we can actually complete some of those. I think it's mainly just, um, like, materials and stuff, but those rewards would be super helpful. 
I'm coming back into here because I think there were a few areas that we haven't had a chance to check yet. We'll see. So I think we've checked these. Yes. This is the room with the tanks. And we went into hypnosis. I just want to see if there's anything else that we missed in here. Don't think so, actually. Did I not trigger this? Because this is where we need to take that call. Right? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's break here. When we come back, we're going to go and talk to her. And uh, I think we did hit this, but maybe I was coming to the wrong area. Yeah, this is next to the... I, this is where I should have come. But we've checked that whole area now. Okay, the next little alert that we get. It's happening. Like, it's going down. We're going to be nailing it. So, wish me luck. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.